Hey guys, Mordecai not here, and today we're going to be uh, addressing a, an issue on an expensive uh, turbo on the N20 BMWs. Um, it's the wastegate a flapper right here, okay, right in here. Um, they, they rattle, I mean, you'll, you'll search the internet, you'll hear about this rattle. It's not just the rattle. The rattle, this will give you low boost pressure, give you all kinds of turbo codes, and basically, it, it's only going to get worse. If it's starting to little, rattle a little bit, it's only going to get worse. And the only way to replace this, because this is all welded in, is to replace the whole turbo. So, I'm going to show you how to fix, how to replace this flapper. Okay, now let's go, uh, let me explain a little bit about it. Uh, this happens to be uh, a pneumatic uh, vacuum wastegate. They have electronic, but it's still, if it's an electronic one, electronic unit here, it still operates a mechanical flap. Okay, so this is going to apply to both. So let's assume, like this, to test this, you're supposed to have about 5.9, let's say 6, 6.6%, 6 mercury. Inches of mercury, I'm sorry. So we're going to put this up to six. All right. What's that? That's about, that's about 5.9, about six. Okay, and it's holding steady. Now, according to the computer in the, in the car, this is closed. That's it, you see? It's supposed to be closed, but it doesn't know. Look at this slop. Okay, so if this is closed, now the, now, the, now the car is building boost, computer thinks it's closed, look at this. Look how much this moves. Let me get the light in there. Look at this. Look at that. All right, now this is, this, this is supposed to be closed. That's it. You got low boost pressure right there. Okay, because this is supposed to be closed, it could spin the, the turbo fast to give more boost, and it's not doing it. It's not only over there. Wait till I take it off. Look at this. How it all rocks in there. Okay, so we're going to fix that today, but we are going to need a welder. So I'm going to show you where to buy the parts. And if you have a welder, that's great. If you don't have a welder machine, maybe you could bring it to a mechanic and show them the video. Maybe they can do it for you. Um, I don't know how much they can charge. How much can they charge you to just, you know, do it? Depends. Maybe $100, $200. It's better than replacing the whole turbo that's 1000 or more. Okay, so that's what it, that's what it uh, supposedly closed. So let's take all the pressure off. And now, you see how bad this is. This and this. That's the rattle that people hear. The rattle. They think it's just an annoying thing. It's no big deal. It's not, it has nothing to do with it. If it was just a rattle, it wouldn't be no big deal. You can hardly hear it. it it's going to affect the boost. Okay, you're going to have no boost. Or very, it's going to have a low boost code, which this car has. Okay? And I don't even think it can get any, any worse than that. Unless it was broken. Now that it's off, you can just, the whole thing is done. So what you're going to have to do is we're going to have to grind down the weld so we can take this off and take the uh, flapper, plunger, whatever you want to call it, out from the bottom. And then there's going to be a bushing here that we're going to have to drill out and put the new one in. I'll show you what the new pieces look like. I disconnected the uh, wastegate and... What we're gonna first do here, now let me show you what the new one looks like. This is the new parts, okay? Now, keep in mind, like I said before, this does, people think that this is solid, it's not gonna move. It does move a little. It has a little bit of play. So you can even, you know, it has a little bit of play because it has to seal up. Let's say if something's not 100% perfect, it has to adjust for those little fine imperfections to make a nice seal. But, and then the, the uh, bushing here. When it goes in here, that's pretty, pretty tight. You know, it has a little bit of play, but nothing, nothing like, like that. Okay. 
Now, I picked these up on eBay. Uh, this was like $20. And to be honest with you, the quality of it is not bad. This is one piece. This is the other piece which pressed in. Okay, bushing. Now, the bushing is you're going to have to, over here, we're going to have to drill out a little pin that probably locked in here so this doesn't slide in and out. All right, and now, and then it comes with this that has to be welded to the top. And it also came with another one. This is probably for the N26 or maybe the uh, the 3.0 turbos. This It's a little bit smaller. Actually, it's, it's uh, uh, let me see, hold on. Okay, I'm sorry. This was, this is the one for the N, this one is for the N20. And this one is a little smaller, probably for the N26. All right. So the first thing I want to do is I want to protect the turbo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the clamp here and separate the turbo from the exhaust manifold. This way, when I'm working on this, drilling out things, I don't want to get any metal filings in the, uh, in the turbo, and you know, you can mess it up very fast. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just take this off. This looks like a 12, let me see, or an 11. No, it's a 10. I'm gonna take this off, it's a 10. Take the clamp off and just separate it. I took this off. Now, before you do that, it's a good idea to mark it somewhere that you put it back pretty, pretty much. It has to go back exactly where it is. Now, when I take this off, there's a pin that it's in one of the one of the units has the pin and the other one has a hole and it go that pin lines up with that hole so you know that this 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 uh the turbo is uh, aligned properly with the um with the exhaust i'll show you when I, i'm going to take it off right now now this one for some reason is right here i put a little highlight on it all right it broke off there's going to be a little a little um dimple here a little a little thing that sticks out that car that goes in that hole right there you see that hole right there it goes right in that hole there so you know so you know when you put it on you make sure it's lined up that little protruding pin lines up and goes in that hole and then you put it on nice and square and then you put your clamp on okay so this, and while you're at it, you can look at your turbo, make sure that the uh, there's no oil. Oil should not be on this side. Okay, this is a new turbo cartridge that was put in by somebody else. Um, that Well, that's what they told me, and, and it looks like it is new because there is no oil or nothing like that. Okay? Okay, so now we just take this and move this out of the way, and we just deal with this. What I'm using is a grind-off cut-off wheel. And I'm, I, ground, I ground away the, um, the weld, and then I use a center punch like this with a little hammer, and it actually made an, an indent, you see that? So now I'm just gonna take this and just, you know, rip it off with, a, with a pliers. Well, actually, what I just did, I just hit it again with the, uh, with the hammer and the punch, and it just popped right out. And there you go. And there's the old one. Okay, so now we're gonna get the uh, the bushing out. Okay, to get the bushing out, the easiest way I thought to do it was use a socket you probably don't need that's a little bit smaller than the bushing. Okay, you put it like that, and you use a nice hammer, put a piece of wood underneath, support it nice, and try to hit it as straight as possible, and you just push it through the other side. It ain't gonna hit anything there. Okay. The other way to do it is to, to, to do it with a, you know, uh, pull it out the other way. Or if you have a press, you can. It's even better with a press. You put it like that, and you just press it right out. Uh, I do have a press, but I decided to do it this way, and it, it came out fairly easy. A couple of taps, and it's basically out. All right. Tap it like that. came right out. 
There you go. That's the old one. Now, there's supposed to be a hole on the side with a little pin that goes in these grooves to keep it from sliding out because this thing's going to get hot and it's going to, you know, create a gap and it can slide right inside. So what I'm going to probably end up doing is because I don't see, I don't see any pin. And I could have sworn that the pin is right here. You see that right there? I think that is it. So I may, I may dr drill that out and put a piece of metal in there and then weld it. Or what I can do is on the bottom where it comes out, right? I can just make a tack weld here so it doesn't fall in. I gotta see what I'm gonna do. What I did is I just put a little center punch in here and I just punched it in a little bit and sure enough, if you look in here, you can see, you can see in there, um, let me get something, hold on. Okay, and sure enough, you can see right there, you see that little thing right there? That's the pin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a little thin punch and punch it out to this side. And that's that's the hole right there. And then I could put a little piece of metal in there and then weld it once I have the bushing in there. Now the bushing, it's, it's best to press it in. I cleaned out the hole over here. Okay, you can see that. All right, because that is when, when you press this in, all right, you're gonna put a piece of uh, metal lodged in here this way and then you're going to keep pressure on it and just weld it a little bit so if this ever did expand too much where this will become loose it won't drop in and this does go one way you see this is a little bit narrow before it gets thick and this side is just straight it's thick it goes in this way that way the thin side towards the towards the manifold okay another couple of notes now when you push this in, okay, it has to stick out. All right, this has to stick out from the base of the manifold to the top of the bushing, three thirty seconds of an inch. All right, three thirty seconds of an inch is going to give you the perfect alignment to put the pin in. Okay, let me show you. So now I stick this this pin in. All the way, right? It goes about this much. Now you look. You see? So we know. You see how far out it is? We know when we put it in the hole, it's bottoming out. We know we're in that groove. And then we're going to weld that there. Okay? And not only that, is that that it matters when you're putting the flapper in. Let me show you what I mean. Because... You want to get this right, you want to get it right the first time. Okay, now with the flapper in. Okay. Now, it's going to be welded on, a, on the little, see that little ridge? All right, it's going to be pushed down the flapper arm and welded to that ridge. So it gives you just a little bit of play. So it's going to hang down just a little bit. And why that's important is because when you open this up, I, I made a black mark. I don't know if you can see it. But there's an indentation here, okay? There's an indent, a wear mark. It's actually a little crease. So now if you put this in, the bushing in the wrong way and the flapper closes up high, it's gonna give, it's gonna give a little bit of a leak because it's all worn. Now, you can see that. All right, let me see if I can put my, uh, my glass on. Let's see if we can see it now even better. I tried to make it dark. You see that little wear mark over here? You see over here? All right, now if you put it, if it goes up too high, it may not seal properly. You see where it is? So you want it basically right around, right around just below the seam so you know it's a nice tight seat, okay? Something like that, and then you look up here and you know you're flush when you put the arm on, okay? That's a little critical part because 
It all depends how worn, even though the flapper is warm, worn, I'm sorry, um, the, exa the exhaust seat over here can be even worn too because this, people think this thing vibrates. It's not, there's pulses of, 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 of uh, exhaust gases that are constantly pushing against this, constantly slamming it up and down, slamming it up and down like a little hammer. Okay, that's the, the noise you're hearing, okay? Especially when it's not seating properly. So now that you have the good one on there, let's play. The uh, wastegate is gonna hold it nice and tight and the exhaust pulses are not gonna pop that thing out and keep it shaking like this, banging up against it and making a groove. Okay, so I hope you understand what I'm talking about. When you set it in, it's crucial that this is a two, 330 seconds, 330 seconds from the top, from the base to the top. Okay, and then you then you know you're set good and you check for wear. See, this one was, was uh, sealing pretty good when it was new, you know, and as it, and as it got old, it was just slapping and banging, banging, banging against it and it made the ridge. Okay, so now what we're gonna do now, and another thing, I didn't do it before, but you should do it now, is before you take the old arm off, okay, it's good to mark where it was. You know, it's good, to, like if it was over here, it's good to somehow make a mark somewhere that you know to put the arm back where it was. I didn't do that, so what I'm gonna do is before I weld it, I'm gonna put the turbo back on, I'm gonna put the wastegate back on, I'm gonna put uh, 5.9 inches of vacuum, inches of mercury, I'm sorry. All right, that's gonna be the close position of the arm, and then I'm gonna put the arm on here, make sure everything's closed, close the flapper, and then weld it, and then I know I'm in my position. All right, so that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna put the turbo on. So I just welded over here. I welded a, a piece of metal and that takes care of the bushing that ain't going anywhere. And now I'm gonna put it together, like I said, and gonna weld the angle of the flapper arm. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna line up the, uh, the arm from the flap, okay? What you do is you hook up your uh, wastegate I put a new one on there, so a little bit more accurate. I mean, they're not that much money. If you, you want to use the old one, you can use the old one. You put it up to just about six uh, inches of mercury. All right. That's where it belongs. So that's basically closed. So you want to make sure the, the flap in here is closed. And you want to make sure that the arm... Is adjusted this arm is adjusted in the center so it can move both ways so you have play to adjust and make sure right it's closed like I said make sure this is aligned the way it is and what I did I just put a little mark there so when I take everything off I'll just line it up to these marks tack weld it try it again and then re and then weld it for good and then we should be good okay now it's all welded up nice and tight what you do is you you pull the vacuum again uh, like I, t I told you, just about six inches of mercury. Okay, make sure there's no play here, no play here. And in here, the disc should be able to turn with a slight drag, but no play in and out. Put that there. No play in and out, but you can, you can still turn this, but it's, that's, that's considered fully seated. That's how they want it. Considered closed with just that amount of vacuum. Okay, of course, if a little bit more vacuum, it's going to be nice and tight and the computer takes care of the rest. But the initial setting is what I just told you. All right. And then you just tighten up here and make sure you put this, the, uh, the little clip here. All right. So no more. Now let me show you. Let me let out the, uh, all right. And you see before, like this really doesn't rock. I mean, this way, I'm just talking about back and forth. It really doesn't rock. It's really tight in there. And this, just just this much, see? Doesn't go in and out, and the whole, mate, the whole thing just moves, see? That's about it. And the top, very little. And that's it. All right, now, if you want, and, and, and if that was your problem, or if you have a turbo problem, I have a video on how to replace the turbo cartridge. The cartridge, the... the, the 
it, you just split these two apart and you replace it. It's simple. And once you replace that and fix this, the turbo is new again. All right, you have a wastegate. You have a, a pop-off valve over there, um, a diverter valve. But other than that, it's just a big pipe. Okay? So it's really not that complicated. Any questions, leave them below. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Please subscribe, hit the like button. And it would be appreciated if you can help the channel with a donation. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I really appreciate you, all you guys watching and all your comments.